Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Monday. Welcome to my fall 2020 home decor tour. I am going to be taking you through the downstairs of our house today to show you um, the finished product of all of my fall decorating. I like to do this video every year. It's just kind of something different from my usual beauty content. Um, last week, if you guys missed it, the pugs are joining us, by the way, both of them are down here hanging out in the sun. Um, if you missed uh, last week's videos, I did share just a few decorate with me type videos where I took you through the, my, basically my thought process, design process for a few key areas in the house that I decorate every single year. Um, one of the videos did not turn out, which was this mantle, unfortunately, but I'm gonna be giving you guys just a quick in-depth run through of that um, to sort of tell you how I put it together. And once we get a little closer, it'll probably make total sense how I did all of that. So, um, but yeah, anyway, so the idea behind this home decor tour is one, just an opportunity for me to do something different on my channel and to, to maybe inspire you guys to get excited about fall and, um, take the plunge. <laughs> Today is Labor Day, obviously. So for me, summer definitely ends September 1st. <laughs> I am one of those people. Some of you may be waiting until the end of September or beginning of October. So hopefully this gives you some inspiration for then. Um, but yeah, the idea is just to kind of inspire you and to do something different and um, yeah, just talk about pretties. So this is what I call my fancy lady living room here. It's more of like a formal sitting room um, in the front of the house. We have a family room over there that's a little bit more cozy and um, a little bit more I guess comfortable <laughs> although this couch is pretty darn comfortable here so um but yeah so uh basically on the end tables here i don't do a ton i definitely have some pumpkins by the way the lighting in here is going to be kind of tricky today because it is incredibly sunny and we are actually supposed to get a crazy windstorm this afternoon so we might be losing power which will be fun um but i have matching end tables over here and really the design is matching on either side as well. Um, I'm currently cleaning out my Scentsy to start the week fresh, so um, I don't have anything going in there. <laughs> I do have this yummy candle lit though, so. All right, so on the other side, you'll be able to hopefully see this a little bit better. The lighting might be better over here. So just small pumpkins that I've collected over the years. Um, just staged it very, very similar to the other side. Um, I find that pleasing to my eye. Um, I know a lot of people prefer things to be a little bit more asymmetrical or not so matchy-matchy. Um, that's hard for me. <laughs> it's hard for me because of what I do for a living as well. Um, I'm a florist, so like things making sense and being very organized, um, that's just sort of how I was trained to do flowers. So uh, that carries over to other things. <laughs> including my home decor. Um, so over here, these corbels I actually purchased at Michael's this year. They may still have them. If they have them, I'll link them down below. I think they're amazing. Um, so they are now attached to either side of the fireplace here. For the longest time, I was trying to figure out what to do with this space. And these just kind of fit the bill perfectly. I do tend to like a little bit of a like rustic, well, slightly rustic, um, French country type design. Uh, that is what appeals to me. This is why you're seeing a lot of these distressed pieces throughout the house. Um, I don't know. It's not everybody's taste, but I like it. I think it suits the house kind of well. Um, so over here, uh, we have this really nice ledge. So I basically just took some leaves. And do you see those big bushes up there? So I basically just took another one of those um, bushes. You can actually get them. It's a leaf bush. Oh, what? I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say. Um, I basically just bought another one of those and took the individual stems and cut them off and used them to create little piles of leaves that I then tucked pumpkins into. A lot of these pumpkins I've collected over the years. Um, those, for example, came from Target last year, as did those sweater pumpkins. I do have a little bit of a thing for sweater pumpkins. <laughs> the way that I designed this garland up here is it's basically just a 
burlap garland that I bought a few years ago at Hobby Lobby. And I basically just tucked everything into that burlap garden garland. So you don't see much of the garland anymore. You see pops of it like right there. But I chose burlap because I think it's a good fit with the sweater pumpkins. And um, also some of these pumpkins are like obviously burlap style pumpkins. So and then there's just a ton of those leaves that I again just separated from one of those leaf bushels. <laughs> I think they actually have these again this year. Um, you can see that my color palette is pretty muted. I don't tend to do a lot of oranges or reds or rusts or browns. Um, if I do brown, it's more of like a tan as in that right there. Um, things that look really well with gold and white and silver accents. Uh, I am big on mixing metals. So um, you see some rose gold in here. You see some just regular gold. Um, there's also obviously silver in this room to start with and some of the furniture. So I just, I really like the way that that looks mixing all the different metals. But again, I potentially couldn't, could not be for everybody, but I don't know. I like it. So yeah, this is just me tucking a bunch of things into this garland. And you can kind of see, hopefully, up there how I did that. Um, these vases I picked up a long time ago at Bath and Body Works for like 90% off. And I love using them for year round. Um, I usually have artificial flowers in there. And then as the seasons change, I tweak what goes in there. So the only time I don't use them is in my Christmas decor um, because that just is mo mostly reds and golds and they don't quite go with what I have going on during the holidays. But um, overall, I'm really pleased with how this turned out. Now over here, obviously you have mirror image of what's over on this ledge and down below in the fireplace in the front, um, I found these birch logs at what was it? Pier one. <laughs> I think it was two Christmases ago now on clearance. Oh, so it must've been like right after um, the holidays. So I picked up two of those. I love using those both fall and holiday time. So those are going to stay out basically for the rest of the year now. Um, they are LED and um, you just flip the switch on the bottom and these do in fact light up and they look amazing at night. I'm a big fan of using flameless candles in areas where it might be a little bit tricky to use real candles. So these up here are the Sterno home candles that I buy every year at um, Costco. And I believe they're actually on sale right now, like five bucks off, so, or $10 off. So you can get them for, I think it's like $19.99. If you see them in store, you should get them, they're incredible. They also come with the batteries, so. But yeah, all of these things up here are pretty much mostly from Michaels, from TJ Maxx, from Target. Um, in fact, these pumpkins here um, are from the dollar spot <laughs> several years ago, so um, lots of fun finds. Even a few like dollar store uh, pumpkins that I DIY'd like these guys here, so I just basically spray painted them because they were that ugly like rust brown orange color, but. Um, also over here on the coffee table, I just have my like books that I love so much to use for decorating. They're actually book boxes. Um, I have one of my Hallmark's pedestals. That's a flower arrangement that I actually use year round, but I chose burgundy because I knew that I could use it in the summer, the fall, and even into the holidays. So I made that one myself. It's actually in a really pretty base that I don't know, you'll, you can't really see it, but yeah. And that's another one of those dollar spot pumpkins right there. <laughs> and um, yeah, so that's mostly what's in this room. There's a little pumpkin over there. I've got a couple more sweater pumpkins up there, along with another flameless candle. Those are all basically on remote controls, by the way. So I don't ever have to like get that down to turn it on. Um, I just use the little remote and uh, turn it on and off and use a timer if I feel like it. But yeah, that's that little area over there. You guys did see me decorate this entry table. Um, so you can kind of see how I tweaked it. You can see I added some more pine cones, but it's mostly the way that um, I decorated it on camera. So I'm actually kind of pleased that 
I didn't make a ton of changes to this this year. So, um, but yeah, so this is our entryway table. Um, we typically actually come through the garage. You'll see that here in a second. So we don't use this entry table really for um, putting keys or purses or anything like that. It's mostly used just for decor, to be totally honest. Um, but, you know, the front door is right there, so we could use it if I put like a little bowl or something there for our keys, but we just don't enter the house that way. I'm going to take you guys into the dining room. I don't really show the upstairs of our house um, because I don't really decorate it, but um, yeah, anyway. Uh, this year for Christmas, though, I have decided to do garland coming down the stairs. I'm really excited for that. All right, dining room. You guys saw me decorate this, so I'm just going to kind of show you how it changed just a little bit. So I tweaked a few things over here, moved some things around. Um, the table is mostly the same. Sorry, you might hear some noises outside. We are finishing up the last of the yard work today, so we have some guys here helping us. Um, well, it's not going to be completely finished today. <laughs> I promise though at some point soon <laughs> that yard will be finished and I will be giving you guys a tour I promise um, these leaves I hang up every single year on this chandelier um, I love the way that that looks um, during the holidays I hang little snowballs from it I just think it's kind of whimsical and fun um, there's my centerpiece for the table these are actually things that I use in year-round decor so I'm um, kind of fun and then these really pretty birch LEDs um, if you can't tell, I love these LED candles. <laughs> I think they're awesome because if you forget to turn them off, the worst that's going to happen is you're going to waste some battery. But if you leave the house, they are not going to burn your house down. And then over here, um, there's really not much that changed. Um, I did obviously switch out that Be Grateful sign and put in this corbel that my mom just bought for me at an antique shop. Isn't that beautiful? Um, I do want to hang this in my house, but it is, I think this thing weighs like 40 pounds. I'm not even kidding you. Um, it is made out of concrete. <laughs> it's a real corbel. So um, I need to get uh, the proper materials to hang it with. But in the meantime, I set it over here because I just thought it was so pretty. Um, the back of it is not well, I don't want to move it because it'll mess things up. But anyway, you'll see that hanging probably after the fall season because <laughs> I think it looks kind of cute over here right now. So this is our dining buffet. Um, I really like the way that this turned out. This room definitely screams fall, but not very traditional fall. Um, I like it just because the walls are this really pretty light blue color. If you missed the video, this color is actually Benjamin Moore Wedgwood Gray, but it's color matched at Sherwin-Williams, and that does make a difference. <laughs> this is much more blue than the Benjamin Moore version, so keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, that's our dining room. I'm gonna take you guys through the butler's pantry. I'm gonna turn the light on here. I don't do a ton of stuff in here. Um, I do have a little pumpkin display over here. Um, that is my centerpiece warmer from Yankee, and currently I have cranberry chutney in there, which is delightful. I love that centerpiece and I got it for like 10 bucks, screaming deal. Um, this is where we normally drop our keys. This is the door to our garage. So um, I don't really do much in the laundry room uh, and I am actually doing laundry today. So welcome to my real life. I do have this little sign here that I got from Deco Created. Um, I think it was two years ago now. I just think it's really cute. So that's what I have in here. This is my root candle that, um, I reviewed on Sunday. It's completely scentless. <laughs> I actually had it on that hot plate warmer there and I could smell nothing. So at this point, um, I'm just going to go and put it in my empties. But yeah, that's that's it for the laundry room in the kitchen. What was that? Oh, I'm filming right now. I know. I know. Do you want to close the fridge for a second? Sure. Thank you. <laughs> I don't want you guys to see my fridge. It's disgusting. I really need to clean it out. Um, so I did do a decorate with me to show you guys the three tier tray. So can you see what's different? <laughs> if you watched the video, you knew that um, there was still a few things I needed to tweak. And so what I ended up doing was taking this votive holder, which actually had a like poured candle in it from Ikea. Gosh, I think I've had that for like 10 years. 
it's pretty old, but it was cute, so I kept it. And I just put, again, another flameless LED candle in here so that um, I can get some candlelight <laughs> on the tray, actually. I also purchased just a couple more pumpkins to fill this in a little more. Hi, Mr. Kong. He is gonna be growling at me here because he thinks that I'm in here to give him a treat. Stella, can you give him um, a penny, one of their dentist sticks, please? Sure. Um, yeah, and yeah, there are people walking around in my backyard. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I added another one of those votive holders back here. And then just a couple more candles, not candles, uh, a couple more pumpkins. And all I did was go to TJ Maxx and they had a set of, you know, there's the dogs getting their treats. They had a set of three of these Martha Stewart, like more rustic looking pumpkins for less than 10 bucks. So um, yeah, I picked up a, a set of three and put one in there and then had one to stick over here by my apple bowl, which is currently empty because girlfriend needs to go grocery shopping. Um, didn't really do anything over here. By the way, that's my box <laughs> that's going to go back to Kringle. They are going to take back the, um, the wax melts that I purchased that are scentless. So that's very nice of them. <laughs> um, over here, oh my gosh, is this freaking you guys out? <laughs> um, there's going to be a lot of people walking by. Sorry, we're working really hard to get this yard done because I am hosting a very, very small baby shower for my best friend, Kate. She's the one who got married last year. Well, this year she's having a kid, so it's going to be the tiniest baby shower ever. But <laughs> I wanted her to have something special, so we're going to be doing it outside in our backyard. So this is sort of the last mad rush to get it all done before the shower. So... All right, over here, I just created this little arrangement myself with faux hydrangeas and some pumpkin picks from Michael's. Um, that little sign was also from Deco Crated. Um, by the way, I decided not to continue partnering with Deco Crated. I know some of you really enjoyed those videos, um, but I just wasn't loving what was coming in the boxes, so I've just declined the last few PR boxes that they offered to send. Um, using my Mrs. Meyer acorn and spice. I have my little coffee bar over here. So that was from Joanne's last year, currently burning autumn, delightful. On my kitchen table, I just have my dough bowl that is filled with all sorts of gold and rose gold uh, pumpkins and pine cones, love it. That is, uh, I'm excited about that. That's our outdoor cooktop that is going in the outdoor kitchen but I still have to go pick out a new countertop for the outdoor. I have to go pick out some granite. So that's on my to-do list this week. I'm pretty proud of this little DIY here. So um, obviously just a couple of pumpkins on either side, but these were leaves that I had that I wasn't using anymore. And these were manzanita branches from Pier 1. They also from Pier 1. <laughs> I had a real thing for Pier 1. Rest in peace. Just kidding. Now they've they've basically just restructured and they're going to be selling their stuff online. So I can still get access to my Pier 1 loves. But So I basically just stuck the leaves through the manzanita branches and created a fall tree for a little niche here. Um, yeah. I never know what to do with this space because I just think it's so random. But um, I guess it's a nice way to display these leaves <laughs> um, in the downstairs bathroom not much in here um, basically just a couple of pumpkins and a fall candle um, I would love to put the toilet paper on the holder but Penny likes to unroll it so we can't do that in our house <laughs> and then I don't really do anything in my office oh there's a dog turd that's nice that'd be Mr. Kong <laughs> This is our family room here. You can see this is much more of a cozy, comfy space. Um, this is my tray on the coffee table. So basically just a couple of pumpkins and uh, a homeworks candle holder with an old school BBW cranberry pumpkin, yum. And then more of those burgundy flowers. Again, I think they work for multi multiple seasons. So that's kind of nice. Um, this is... <laughs> This is kind of a funny area. This was actually where the TV used to sit back in the 2000s. Um, you can see it's a totally different shape from 
this giant rectangular thing here. Um, but basically, I just took the vases that are here most of the year. I put some kiwi branches in one of the vases. There's some pine cones, some little dollar store pumpkins, and some larger sugar pine pine cones. <laughs> that sign was from Big Lots a couple years ago. And then here's the mantle. Same idea. I took that um, burlap garland and just stuck picks and uh, tucked pumpkins in. Uh, I have these really nice wood uh, candle holders here that again have the faux candles. So they are on a remote, which is nice. So just lots of different textures. Love, love pine cones. <laughs> Obviously, they're kind of my fave. And then over here we have, um, you know, just we keep like home decor down here. Well, I do. My husband is like, can you not hog all of these, <laughs> all of these really nice shelves that we have to store things. Um, he's, he's fine with it, <laughs> but just some pumpkins. I just tucked in a few pumpkins here and there. This mostly is like how it is year round. Um, it changes a little bit more for the holiday time, but again, just took some, some random pumpkins and stuck them up there. And I feel like that definitely amps up the, um, the fall, the fall vibes, I guess. So, but yeah, you guys, that's it. That's pretty much the whole downstairs. Um, these, by the way, are those prints that I purchased that I, uh, where did I show those? I think it was maybe in my last home decor haul. I love them. I love them so much. So I have two over here, two over here. It's a set of six. And then I put one on this side of the door out to the patio and the other on that side. So um, yeah, I'm dying to show you guys the outside. I really, really want to, but I want to show you when it's all finished. So I promise it's coming soon. Um, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch today. Um, Stella's having some pizza. <laughs> and um, I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow for a super fun um, haul. I bought some things, so figured I'd share them with you guys. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.